Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the lit code problem 2 sum 2 where input array is sorted. So given an array of integers that is already sorted in ascending order, find two numbers such that they add up to a specific target number. The function 2 sum should return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target where index 1 must be less than index 2. Note that your return answered both index 1 and index 2 are not zero based. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. So this is a follow up problem of two sum problem. So if you haven't solved that problem, first solve that problem. I will give the link in the description and also I have published the video on that solution of two sum. You can check out that if you face any difficulty. But I will try to cover every uh, solution in this as well. So for example, we have 2, 7, 11, 15 and the target 9. If we sum 2 and 7 which is equal to the target 9. So the generally the array is zero index base but we have to return answer as mentioned here in the index uh, not zero base index. So basically we have to return uh, for 1, for 2 this is at index 0 in array but we have to return 1 and 7 it is at index 1 in array so we have to return 2. So this is 1 comma 2 in the array we have to return for this problem. So one of the easiest solution will come in the mind the brute force solution why can't just use the run the two for loops of index i and j where i and j i will start from 0 to goes number of elements minus 1 and then j will start follow just i plus 1 here and it also goes to the number of elements and we will check if nums of i and nums of j add it up to so here we are trying to generate all the pairs of two numbers and then checking here if it is equal to the target if we found that pair where the sum is this then we are returning this is i then i plus 1 and j plus 1 in the array returning as a array of because we have to return array of and this is one base. So this is the brute force solution. If we see the time complexity of this solution here we are running two loops for n and both are nested so it is O of n square and the space complexity is O of 1. So can we optimize it? Yes we can. By can't? So what we can do from O of n to O of n how we will achieve like how we will reduce the time complexity. So there is a tra trade off between the time complexity and the space complexity. So we may need to use some kind of space. So what if we store these values number and their indices in the hash map. So let us say the in the example we have 2, 7, 11 and 15 in the problem. So if we store 2 and the index 0 then 7 index 1 then 11 index 2 and the 15 index 3. So this we will do in a one pass and then second pass we just check if the if we found a number 2 then we will check if target minus target t let us say t only minus uh, the 2 is in the map or not if it is then we will just check if the index is not equal is if it is equal then it is not the answer so we have to not use the twice as mentioned in the problem if we found we will so here is a solution for the approach using the hash map and it is like two pass so the one pass we are just building the hash map here with the nums of i and indices i and then second pass we are checking and then we find we are returning here i plus 1 and the whatever the index we get from the map the so which is plus 1. So same we can also implement in one pass as well we can just here compare like instead of removing remove this loop condition mm -hmm. and utilize here if we got into the map then we will return the answer otherwise we will add another uh, put into the map here itself. So if we see the time complexity of this solution using map is O of n because we are running like this loop and this are subsequent not the nested so it is O of n and what is the space complexity though the space complexity is also O of n because we are storing all the element in map so this is 
can we do further different ways are we using the sortedness of array because this is a simple solution which we did for two pass two sum so as our array is sorted as given already in the problem so like 2 7 11 and 15 so what when so if array is sorted what should come in your mind so there are two things if we have to search any element searching any element then we will use binary search if we are looking for two element then there is another way we can use the two pointer so what we will do we will use one pointer start let's say s here and the end e here from the end of the array then we will sum up if start plus end the num of start plus end if num of is and is target in that case we will return the indices start plus 1 comma and plus 1 because we have to return one ways similarly if if this value is greater than target which means we need to reduce the end pointer so here we will reduce the end minus minus if we get the value less than which means the value is less than if we increase this pointer start pointer then we will get the next bigger number so we will do start plus plus if in that case so how it will work so in initial case we will have 2 plus 15 which is greater than 9 so we will reduce our end pointer to here then it will become 2 plus 11 which is also greater than 9 then we will again reduce the end from here to here so this will become 2 plus 7 and which is equals to our target 9 so we found the pair whose sum is target so let's implement the two pointer approach so for two pointer approach we will use the two variables let's say star s which is from 0 and enter and which is e which is uh, our numbers dot length minus 1 and then we will use a while loop and this loop will be run until start not cross the end so here we will check if numbers numbers of star plus numbers of n is equals to our target then we will just return uh, new int of pair of star plus 1 comma and plus 1 then we will check else if our sum is let us say greater than the target in that case we just reduce the start else we will update increase the start so oh sorry this we will reduce the end pointer and then we will increase the start pointer so that is it in the end just return the int array of size 2 new int array of size to, to satisfy the function conditions so let us compile our code and check uh, oh I use the nums because of the two pointer problem so it should be numbers not nums um, hmm. so it is we are getting a correct answer so let us submit our solution so it is accepted so the time complexity of this solution is also o of n and the space complexity now we are not using any storage just we are using two variables start and end so the space complexity is o of n so here time complexity is o of n we are going through all the elements and the space complexity is o of 1 so try this problem yourself and if check out my solution if you like my solution please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the early notification of whenever i publish the new video thank you